post-harvest handling activities. Content standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance standards. The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning competency. D discuss post-harvest handling activities. Learning objectives. 1. Define post-harvest handling activities and explain their importance. 2. Differentiate between sorting, grading, and storing of fish. Perform a simple classification of fish products according to size and quality using sample visuals. Presenting new lesson. What happens if fish are not handled properly after harvest? What went wrong? How could this have been avoided? Post-harvest handling of fish. 1. Sorting and grading involves the separation of harvested products based on various criteria, such as quality, size and shape. a. Size and weight sorting fish are sorted based on their size, which may influence market value and consumer preferences. Larger fish may command higher prices in some markets, while smaller fish may be preferred for specific culinary purposes. b. Quality sorting fish are visually inspected for quality attributes such as color, texture, firmness, and overall appearance. Damaged, bruised, or discolored fish are sorted out to prevent them from affecting the quality of the entire batch. 2. Storing this is essential for preserving the freshness, quality, and safety of fish. By following these guidelines, fish producers and seafood handlers can ensure that their products reach consumers in optimal condition, maximizing their value and satisfaction. Group activity. Sort and grade. Each group receives picture cards of different fish sizes and qualities. Task. Sort them according to size and classify as high or low quality. Groups present results. Lesson activity. Word search puzzle. Instruction. Find the 10 hidden words related to fishing and post-harvest. Connect the letters with zigzag lines. Application exercise. Read your scenario card. Work with your group to decide the correct order of post-harvest handling steps, grade, store, sort. What kind of storage is best for each situation? Scenario card 1. Fish caught in the morning, sold in the afternoon. Grade. Store. On ice. Sort. What type of storage should be used for this scenario? Choices. On ice until sale. Cold storage. Refrigeration. Iced until transported. Scenario card 2. Fish for export. Store. Sort. Grade. What type of storage should be used for this scenario? Choices. On ice until sale. Cold storage. Refrigeration. Iced until transported. Scenario card 3 Fish for local wet market. Store. Sort. Grade. What type of storage should be used for this scenario? Choices. On ice until sale. Cold storage. Refrigeration. Iced until transported. How do fish vendors in your area keep fish fresh? Good handling practices are not just for books. They're essential real-life steps that make sure the food we eat is fresh and safe. Why is post-harvest handling critical in fisheries? Post-harvest handling is important to maintain quality, ensure food safety, and increase profit. Short quiz. Multiple choice. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Which of the following is the first step in post-harvest handling of fish? A. Storing B. Sorting C. Selling D. Transporting. 2. The activity that involves separating fish according to size and quality is called A. Sorting B. Grading C. Storing D. Packaging 3. What happens if fish are not stored properly after harvest? A. They grow bigger. B. They stay fresh longer. C. They spoil quickly. D. They change into dried fish. 4. Which step ensures that fish products have uniform quality before reaching the market? A. Storing B. Sorting C. Grading D. Harvesting. 5. Why is storing fish important in post-harvest handling? A. To make them heavier. B. To keep them fresh and safe to eat.
c to change their taste d to make fishing easier